enemies. I should know. I was human when you destroyed me. The Power Rangers franchise is full of deadly villains that range from evil scientists transforming into something sinister or a swarm of vicious aliens from outer space and hack to even uprising robot armies ready to plunge our brave warriors into the battlefield. One of these villains was Frax, also known as Dr. Louis Ferrix, and he was a human scientist who had ended up transforming into an evil robot. Frax was one of the antagonists in the Power Rangers Time Force series, which was the ninth season of the Power Rangers franchise. It was first released in 2001 and focused on the story of the Time Force Rangers as they traveled across time in order to fight crime. Today, we will explore Frax's origin origins and story arc and tell you everything about his role in the Power Rangers Time Force. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like the content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. I transformed myself into one of the stupid robots you so despise. Practice backstory explored how a scientist became a dreaded villain. Frax was initially a famous scientist named Dr. Louis Ferrix, who was known for his technologically advanced inventions. Dr. Ferrix's character was portrayed by Jeff Griggs, and this character lived in the year 3000. He was also a renowned roboticist and had even invented the Cyclobots that collectively formed Ranzik's army. Ranzik was one of the most powerful mutants of all time, and he was determined to travel to the past in order to conquer Earth. Dr. Ferrix had once saved Ranzik's life when a mutant named Venomark had poisoned him and Ranzik had repaid his kindness by blowing up his lab and stealing the Cyclobot technology. While Ranzik assumed that Ferrix had died in an explosion, it turned out that Ferrix was alive and had suffered many injuries. Even though Ferrix could not heal his wounds, he used his knowledge to rebuild his body with robotic parts. Ferrix then became a cyborg and took on a new identity as Frax. Frax's character was voiced by Eddie Frierson, and he appeared in the form of a cyborg in a yellow suit. Even though Ranzik had ruined Ferrix's life, Frax kept his real identity a secret and joined forces with him to become his closest ally. While Ranzik treated Frax disrespectfully, the cyborg addressed Ranzik as his master and worked closely with him for a while. We later learned that Frax was only working for Ranzik so that he could get more access to him and eventually seek revenge. Frax gained Ranzik's trust and even manipulated him into trusting him until the day he could finally get his revenge. He first appeared in the show in an episode titled Force from the Future, wherein Frax teams up with Ranzik's daughter, Nadira, in order to rescue Ranzik from the Red Time Force Ranger named Alex. After breaking Ranzik out, Frax agreed to travel to the past with him to capture the Earth before the Time Rangers were formed. Frax ended up in the year 2000 and bit his time while he tried to form a revenge plan. He later appeared in an episode titled Time Shadow, wherein he steals a precious Prizerium powder in order to create a Tronicon robot. While this robot stared up trouble, the Rangers managed to get rid of it, and Frax ended up in trouble with Ranzik. Frax's fury, the true wrath of Frax, was highlighted in this episode. Frax finally revealed his true intentions behind allying with Ranzik in the 27th episode of this season. Titled Frax's Fury, Frax had been bidding this time while working for Ranzik, and he was deeply disturbed by the way Ranzik treated all the robots in his army. He decides to unleash a mutant named Venomark, who had been locked away in a special containment unit known as the X-Vault. Frax releases Venomark without Ranzik's approval, and this mutant spreads its poison by biting people around the city. The Quantum Ranger Eric checks up on one of Venomark's victims along with the law enforcement, and they realize that the person is mutating in the same manner as Ranzik. They decide to look into Venomark, while Nadira informs Ranzik about these attacks and realizes that Venomark has been set free. Ranzik also recalls an incident from the future when Venomark had attacked him and how Dr. Ferrix had saved him back then. Dr. Ferrix had also come up with a serum back then to treat Ranzik, and the story shifts to the past, wherein Ranzik had attacked Frax's lab before blowing the place up. We also learned that Venomark's venom had a severe effect on Ranzik, and the only way he can survive is by taking an antidote serum for the rest of his life. As the scene returns to the present, the Time Rangers corner Venomark and try to capture him, but the mutant creature defeats all of them and bites them. While he approaches the Red Time Ranger to infect him, Ranzik shows up at the scene, 
and launches an attack on Venomark. While the two face each other, Ranzik pauses to inject more of the antidote serum, and Venomark contacts Frax and asks him for advice. Frax reassures him and tells him he will take care of Ranzik, while West, the Red Time Force Ranger, finds a vial of the serum. West takes the serum to his father at Biolab so that he can recreate the serum and use it to heal the rest of the Rangers. While West's father produces a massive shipment of the serum, Eric uses some of it to cure an old lady who has been affected by the venom. However, Venomark witnesses this and he gets annoyed when he realizes that his victims are slowly recovering. He tries to attack Eric while the rest of the Rangers show up and help him to capture the mutant. In a different part of the city, Ranzik returns to his base at the cryo prison and realizes that someone has destroyed his lifetime supply of serum. Frax finally reveals himself and tells Ranzik that he has the final vial of the serum in his hands. He also reveals his true identity as Dr. Ferrix, and Ranzik is shocked to hear that he had survived the explosion and created a new robot body. Frax then destroys the last vial of the serum and teleports away from Cryo Prison while Ranzik screams aloud out of anger and frustration. Over the next few episodes, Ranzik steals the serum from Biolab and launches a manhunt against Frax, who temporarily goes into hiding. Even though the Cyclobots soon find him, Frax convinces them to let him escape, and they let him get away. We will finally prove once and for all that robots are superior. Some of his interesting story arcs in the series. Frax later appeared in an episode titled Destiny Defeated, and we learned that he had been operating from a large compound in the city. Frax had started experimenting on the Trizurium crystals to create robots that would destroy Ranzik and then help him take over the city. Frax had also created the robot named Dragontron, which was creating a lot of chaos all over the city. While Wes parts away with the Time Rangers, they realize they cannot defeat Frax without his help. In the meantime, Frax again sends Dragontron in into the city to wreak havoc, and one of the rangers named Circuit detects his location. The rangers come together to form the Time Shadow Megazord, hoping that it can distract Dragontron while they shoot it. However, Frax uses one of his weapons to siphon the Megazord's energy and weaken them during the attack. The rangers try to get rid of the energy siphon and start attacking the Cyclobots in order to reach Frax. While Jen shoots Frax, Alex states that they must turn the energy siphon off before attacking Frax. While the rangers communicate with each other, Frax shoots at them with his energy siphon and they all morph back into their human forms. In the meantime, Wes finds out that his friends are in trouble and he heads to the scene to help them. As the scene shifts to the fight, Frax keeps shooting at the rangers while Alex orders them to get up and fight even though they are struggling with their injuries. While Lucas, Trip, and the other rangers call Alex out for his inconsiderate behavior, Frax watches them fight and prepares to shoot at them when Wes shows up and attacks him. Wes spots the energy siphon and turns it off while the rangers resolve their issues, and a defeated Frax leaves the scene. As the episode moves forward, the rangers ask Wes to become their new leader, and they work together to defeat the Dragontron. Frax later appears in an episode titled A Calm Before the Storm, in which he finally creates a new monster named Doomtron. Frax had stolen some Trizerium crystals from the bio labs, while Wes had tried to convince his father to stop producing these crystals. As the show gears up for its finale, Frax unleashes a mutant known as Max Axe, who attacks the city and even injures the civilians. While the city's law enforcement Silver Gardens show up at the scene to capture Max Axe, the rangers also head to the location. The rangers had managed to capture all the mutants in the city and they could not understand how a new mutant was on the loose. They soon learned that Frax is responsible for sending Max Axe into the city and they gear up to fight him. While the five rangers work together, Frax still overpowers them and defeats them all. In the meantime, Eric tries to capture Max Axe and attacks the mutant with a blizzard slash. While Max Axe ends up growing in size, Eric summons the Q-Rex Zord and enhances it so that it transforms into a Quantasaurus Megazord. The Megazord puts up a good fight against Max Axe and even uses a powerful Quantum Defender Blast to destroy the robot. After witnessing Max Axe's destruction, Frax attacks the rangers in a fit of fury and warns them about an even more dangerous creature set in store in their future. Frax then teleports away from the scene, while Ranzik observes the whole scene from a distance and sends one of his followers to locate Frax. What eventually happened to Frax? In the season's finale, the end of time, Ranzik sends the Cyclobots to find the Rangers while a whale-themed mutant criminal named Gluto locates Frax. Alex also tells the Time Rangers that their future has changed and that they need to return to the future immediately or else they might die in the present. However, they decide to stay and fight their destiny when they realize that Wes won't be able to leave the present 
to travel with him. In the meantime, Frax finishes creating the mighty Doomtron to help from the Trizerium crystals when Gluto shows up to capture him. He takes Frax to Ramzik, who decides to brainwash him and use his strength to wreak havoc in the city. In the meantime, Nadira also realizes the truth about Frax's past and why he sought revenge on her father, and she helps him realize that doing more harm would not bring any good. She even addresses him as Dr. Ferrix, and he momentarily shows his good side. While Nadira realizes that Frax can still change, she tries to convince him to give up on his mission, and he also tells Nadira that she should attempt to break his cycle of hatred between humans and mutants. While Frax was going to redeem himself, Ranzik goes ahead and reprograms him, turning him into a mindless cyborg who obeys Ranzik's orders. Frax could no longer recollect his past or any memories, and he became a ruthless monster determined to get rid of the rangers. Ranzik then sends him to attack the city with Doomtron while Nadira tries to convince him to stop attacking humans. She even apologizes to Frax for his current condition while Doomtron continues to attack the civilians. In the meantime, the time hole starts opening, and Lord enforcement tries to get the civilians to safety. While the rangers summon the Q-Rex to fight Doomtron, the Trizerium crystals in Q-Rex's system clash with Doomtron, and this causes the time holes to expand more quickly. While the rangers ask Alex to get rid of Q-Rex so that they can use their powers, he refuses to do so since that would leave Doomtron free to destroy the whole city. Wes observes his friends struggling without their powers, and he tells them to use the time ship and return to the year 3000. In the next part of the finale, the rangers do not agree with Wes's idea, but he arranges for the time ship to leave for the future. While Wes returns to the city to help Eric in keeping Doomtron occupied, the rest of the rangers return to the future. Wes shows up at the scene and sees that the Q-Rex has been defeated while Eric is being attacked by the Cyclobots. Wes saves Eric and the two hide in the clock tower when Ranzik shows up at the scene and launches an attack on the place. The two of them somehow manage to escape and run into Wes's father, Mr. Collins, when a Cyclobot tries to attack them. Eric saves Wes's and Mr. Mr. Collins' lives by shielding them from the attack and ends up getting gravely injured. He then hands his Quantum Morpher to Wes so that he can summon the Q-Rex while the rest of the Rangers decide to return to the present to help Wes. In the third part of the finale, the Rangers use a Time Force Megazord to travel to the past while Wes fights off the Cyclobots. The Rangers appear at the scene in the Megazord, knocking out the monstrous Doomtron, while the Rangers meet Wes and come together for the final battle. Ranzik prepares for the battle at the Cryo Prison. Nadira continues to reason with him to stop the fighting, but he refuses to listen to her and gets ready to head out. In the meantime, Doomtron recovers from the attack and starts attacking the city once again, while the Time Force Megazord struggles to defeat him. Eventually, Wes replaces the Q-Rex's yellow Trizerium crystal with a blue one, so that they can get rid of the crystals within Frax and subsequently also destroy Doomtron. Finally, the Q-Rex defeats Doomtron and causes a massive explosion while Frax starts falling apart. Ranzik shows up in front of Frax and even kicks him, and calls him useless for allowing the rangers to destroy Doomtron. As Frax finally dies, his body falls apart and he admits defeat. He was one of the few villains on the show with a tragic arc that almost ended with him realizing his mistakes. However, he could not redeem himself since Ranzik had brainwashed him into a cruel monster in his last dying moments. Amazing! Well then, so do I! What's this? What was Frax really like? In the form of Dr. Ferrix, Frax was quite a kind-hearted doctor who had dedicated his life to helping others. He used to create technology that helped society, and he had once even saved the evil Ranzik's life when he had been exposed to Venomark's poison. Since Ranzik's behavior toward Dr. Ferrix resulted in him almost dying, Dr. Ferrix lost his faith in humanity and set out to take revenge. Frax was filled with hatred over Ranzik's ungrateful behavior, and many of his actions were fueled by his rage. He became a cruel, treacherous robot who was ready to destroy lives to fulfill his goals, and he was also quite cunning as he convinced Ranzik to ally with him. He was also quite manipulative, and he had once convinced the Cyclobots to keep his location a secret and not report his whereabouts to Ranzik. He also had an evil, psychotic laugh and was quite resentful and bitter about the incident that had turned his life around. Frax hated Ranzik for treating the robots with disrespect, and he waited patiently for a very long time to take his revenge on Ranzik 
and reveal his true identity. He was quite calm and cunning and worked discreetly without showing his true emotions to Ranza, even while working with him. Over some time, Frax's rage became uncontrollable and he unleashed an evil side. He set out his creations to cause mass destruction without remorse for the loss of lives and displayed sadistic tendencies. While Frax's older self briefly resurfaced during his conversation with Nadira, he could not redeem himself since Ranzik reprogrammed him and made him a mindless monster. Well then, so do I. Watch this. <laughs> What makes Frax so powerful? Frax was a powerful cyborg whose strength was on a whole different level when compared to any other mutant monster. He could shoot red or yellow colored energy lasers from his mouth to attack his opponents and was also extremely skilled at combat. Frax's body was made of a thick metal skin that protected him from most of his injuries and he could withstand various laser attacks without being hurt. Frax even had the ability to teleport to any location at will. He also had three sharp claws on his left hand that helped him to attack his enemies and he could transform these claws into a blaster. Frax used this blaster to fire missile blasts at the rangers, and these blasts more powerful enough to defeat all of them in just one hit. Moreover, Frax could fire yellow energy beams and red energy bullets with the help of this blaster. He was also an incredibly gifted scientist and roboticist, and he single-handedly created various robots such as Chronicon, Max Axe, and Doomtron. Frax was also a compelling opponent, and he even controlled various ex-vault criminals such as Vexicon and Venomark, and managed to make them work for him. Frax had also created the technology that had developed the Cyclobots, and he could even summon them in large numbers if he needed any help. Hands up, Rangers! Conclusion Frax was one of the most powerful cyborgs in the Power Rangers Time Force series, and he had managed to stir up trouble for the show's antagonist as well as the Time Rangers. He was also extremely gifted and intelligent and went to great lengths to get his revenge. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.